Hello friends, hope you're doing well. This is my new video tutorial on the table view. So today in this video tutorial, we will see how to remove the rows from the table view on the button click. Yes, as you can see on my screen, this is the demo that I have developed for you to demonstrate all these stuff. And here you, as you can see that I am selecting a row in this table view and when I'm going to press this button and now I just click on it now you can see that the selected row is removed from the table in the further you can select and just click on this button and the table row is removed so the same example I'm going to cover in this video tutorial so let's get started this is my NetBeans ID and you can see that this is again the same table view example project in the NetBeans ID. So for the easiness, I have given the download link for the same project sample. So you can just download and import in your NetBeans ID and it is ready to use and then you can continue with this video. So now very first step I'm going to do. So watch it carefully. So let me remind you all previous thing. I hope you have seen my previous video. If you don't have seen, so don't worry about that. You just follow these below links given in the description box and you can watch and just come back here and you can continue. So the first, what we need, as you have seen on the first, very first, <coughs> that we need a button to remove the rows, okay? So the, here's FXML document, okay? Right now I'm going to open this with the help of the scene builder. This is Scene Builder 2.0. This is FXML Editor. And I'm going to open this one inside the Scene Builder. So I need a path for the same FXML. So in such a way you can get the path. And now close this, this stuff. Go to the File menu and choose this Open option. Okay, now paste here. Now, this FXML is open inside the F scene builder. Okay, right now, as simple as I have done, I have just added this button only. Okay, inside this anchor pane. As you can see here, the hierarchy of all the stuffs the parent one is anchor pen then there's a label okay here is the label that I have set a white color because I am taking the blue color in the background and the moving further this is another label that I have taken this is also set as white color so it is not visible right now and I have taken this table view here inside no column added and rest of the thing is done inside the coding so we'll see okay now here is the last one that I have added the button and I given the name remove selected row okay that's all there's no fancy stuff only a simple thing is here and just save this FXML and you can close it here no problem okay now finally we have to do coding on the fxml document controller so it's really easy so guys uh, watch it carefully so first we have to add action method to control the action event of that button that we have just added on the fxml okay so I hope you have downloaded the same example and just set up inside your NetBeans ID. So we're going to continue here. So, so first I will connect, I will create another method, the action method to control the event of that button. So just copy and paste the same method and I will do a small change. I will rename it like I will give the name 
delete row from table okay so I have given the name of this method delete row from table that's all okay right now we doesn't require this thing so I have deleted this one and just save it okay now but this is not complete we have just created a method but we have not connected this method to the, that button that we have created on the fxml okay to do that you have to go inside the fxml document this is the fxml document dot fxml and here is the button at line number one nine okay okay to connect that method with this button what you have to do so watch it carefully okay so inside this button tag anywhere you can type on action on action and you have to place the double quotes and then you have to put the hash sign and then you have to give the name of the method that we have created here okay so we have created this method delete row from table and we coming back here in the fxml and now paste it here so you can see here this line so this on action is equal to hash and the method name so this thing is responsible to connect the event with that method so whenever you're going to press this button okay so which button that I have added here so once this button is pressed so this action method will be called I think this is clear for you now coming back inside the fxml document controller dot java okay and now suppose we have connected and now going to press but so there's nothing inside this method so what we have to do we have to remove the table rows from the table okay so you have to type okay to do that you have to do okay you have to do the action on table view object so how you will get that so now here you can see that this is the table view object that is coming from the fxml okay so here's our table view so I will type table view dot get get items dot remove all you can see here there's a method remove all which is looking for the collection that means a particular collection of objects that we're going to remove so in our case that will be the rows the selected row so so how you will get the selected row so watch it carefully it's really simple triple view dot get selection you have to use table view dot get selection model dot get selected item okay so our target is to remove that row that we're going to select so you have to use table view dot get selection model dot get selected item then you are getting the object of the selected row so this remove all method will remove that row okay so we have done here so place a semicolon so this is the line this is the complete line that will remove the selected row okay that's all now press ctrl s so right here we have done now okay now we will take a clean build of the existing project and then we will look the results by running this program okay it's rebuild is in progress 
okay now we got the message build is successful and now going to run this program okay so here's the ex start file so you can go by this button or you can do a right click on this file and choose this run file option to launch the project okay guys this is the table view example and as you can see here the data is already populated here uh, that I have described in my previous video so don't worry about that I have given the link in the description box so you can just go through that one and you will get the complete understanding on those stuff so right here we are ready with this table view and we have a table rows and this button is to delete that selected row now we'll see is it working or not so I am selecting this second one you can see here this is selected and the selected row is yellow now and I will press this button and we'll see the output okay now you can see that the current row is deleted and now we have one two three four five six seven rows remaining so I will delete from the last so I have selected the last one and going to click on this remove button okay now again one row is deleted actually uh, this yellow color is used to focus the selected row you guys don't worry about that and I have uh, given the CSS as well for the same you will get the exactly same project in your workspace so now in the same way you can delete any row okay it's really simple and really easy I hope you got a good understanding on this concept for removing the table rows from the table view so guys if you have any doubts please comment below I will try to reply as soon as possible that's all guys I hope you enjoyed this video so please like and subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon for new video updates thanks for watching